Ron Rivera says this stuff is real. And how I do agree with him. You know, this is real life. And, you know, Ron Rivera, I think he was frustrated. I think, honestly, I think he was just tired at this point. There has been so much adversity, so many highs and lows in one season for this team. And it's not just been like like a wave that goes like this. It's been more like this, this, the this. I mean, it has just been such an emotional roller coaster, I think, for this entire team, not just the players, but for the coaches as well. And, you know, hearing the about the, uh, uh, the terrible, tragic crash with uh, – um, the shades are Everett, you know, and his girlfriend dying in the crash. And, you know, we still don't know what type of injuries um, Everett sustained. And, you know, this is your teammate. So you look at what happened on the sideline with um, John Allen and Deron Payne, and you you want to make a big thing out of that. And you don't know how this DeShazer Everett um you know, Wreck has played on the minds of those teams. I mean, this is his teammate, or this is their teammate. Um, this is probably their friend, the brother, you know. So, I mean, it's like we don't understand that, you know, these players are human beings in the end. They are not robots. They are not Madden players that you can just plug in and, and move around whenever you want to. These are real-life people. And just because they're athletes doesn't mean that, you know, they have the strength and the ability to just, you know, block out all emotions and stuff like that. They're they're not necessarily, uh, you know, military folk either. Some of them have been, but, you know, even still, you know, military folk have, you know, I mean, sometimes life just catches up with you, right? And I think Ron Rivera alluded to that. I think... You know, he tried to convey to the press, and he wasn't holding back on the explicitness either. Um, but, you know, he said that, hey, this is real life. You know, said it in a few other terms, but, you know, these players are going through this. You know, they they went through the COVID stuff, you know, all of that, probably the off-the-field stuff that's going on with the franchise in general, and, you know, this, um, you know, having a teammate who was involved in a serious automobile accident all of this stuff it does add up to you after a while there's no excuses yes you can say well, there's no excuses with how they played yeah they could have put a, a much better effort and I think that that's certainly on the coaches and Ron Rivera would probably tell you nothing different on that you know at the same time I think it's just it's at the point where sometimes just real life does uh, catch up with you and you know unfortunately for this team they peaked a few weeks too early, I think. Now, they needed to peak when they needed to peak because they were 2-6. and six. But what I'm saying is is that, you know, they, they were riding a high. They were playing great football. You know, players were starting to get healthy. Um, you know, the coaches were coming into their own. Everything was in a rhythm. And then COVID hit, and it just, you know, tore everything up. Uh, players were out. And then all of a sudden, the team was in flux. You know, they didn't play well against Dallas the first time. And that really threw them off their, you know, threw them off the trail a little bit, I think. And so I think all of that, it just, you know, the emotional tides really shifted. And then suddenly, you know, you're like, okay, everything was going great. What happened? And sometimes it's just, you know, as, as people this happens in life and then you're wondering why is all this happening you know why all of a sudden things are not as easy as what they were before you know why things were flowing so great now they're not and it happens in football happens in all sports you know all athletes in other sports they go through this they go through slumps they just go through times where you know they're playing great then all of a sudden they have like a massive loss and then it's hard to really emotionally, mentally get back on your game. And I think that's part of what happened with Washington. Honestly, I think the first game against the Cowboys messed them up so much that it just threw them off their game after that. They just really didn't know how to respond. And then all of a sudden, of course, too, you know, the COVID stuff hits. And then it's just, it was 
just one thing after the other and just kind of really just threw Washington's season off. I mean, unfortunately, it did. And uh, so now, you know, they're in the mode of, well, let's just try to finish on a positive note because we, we know that this team is, for all intents and purposes, they're out of the playoffs, and they know it probably as well. But they're going to keep fighting because – that is how a Ron Rivera coached team does. They don't give up. They keep fighting. I mean, you saw it with John Bates in the in the game after uh, Washington was down. What you know, forty nine to seven or whatever it was at this point. John Bates was still catching footballs and still trying to you know fight for extra yards and all that stuff. I mean, the dude was still out there trying to compete. And I don't think the players really gave up. I think they were just so shocked with how the game went and I just you know you saw a team that I think that was just tired I I think you saw a coaching staff that was just tired I think Ron Rivera you know he has pushed himself and he's pushed this team so much that it catches up and I think that you know again the emotional tide with how things went yeah you know you're a professional coach you're a professional football team you you ought to be trained for this. It's going to happen. I, I understand that. I get that. But I also get the idea that, you know, there are, these are real players or these are real people. And because they're real people, they go through real emotions. And sometimes it's just too much. Uh, hopefully what we can get positive out of all of this is that, you know, this team will, will pull it together. Um, they will finish on a high note. And that next year we'll come in with some, hopefully, a franchise quarterback because we need one desperately. Uh, year three is going to be the year that Ron Rivera is going to be looked at under a microscope because that's really what seems to happen about year three. It's either put up or shut up at that point. And so if you don't have the team ready at that point, you know, your seat gets hot. And uh, while I do think that Ron Rivera has a long leash, and I think that. Right now, honestly, Dan Snyder's um, involvement and, well, just I'll say this. I don't think Dan Snyder is worried about Ron Rivera at this point. I think Dan Dan Snyder is more worried about himself and if he's even going to be able to keep this team. So right now, you know, I think Ron Rivera is very safe with his job but year three is going to be the year that he's going to have to start showing progress with this team or yeah you know he may not make it past year three and he knows this as well so having said all that um i would say that let's just keep let's not get off the bandwagon for ron rivera just yet i know that fans have Um, There are some fans who were calling for his head after, you know, after a year and a half. You just can't do that. you got to allow him some time. This team was in a mess when he got it, and it's going to take a while. you got to be patient. Let's let's stop with the, the Dan Snyder thoughts of, you know, we're giving you two years, and if we're not in the Super Bowl, then, you know, we're moving on to the next coach. That hasn't worked. We've done that in the last 20 years. has not worked. Let's try something different. Let's, for once, just say, you know what? We gave we gave Jay Gruden five years, I believe. We gave him five years. Well, maybe, maybe I will say we gave him about four and a half years. But so, so it is. We gave him a decent amount of time. Let's at least give Ron Rivera that much time. You know, Ron has been successful in the past. He is the type of coach that this team needs. They need a a coach that disciplines the team. He is a disciplined coach. He's a military-style coach. And, you know, the players love him. I have not heard one player that that has spoken badly about Ron Rivera. And I'm still hearing Carolina Panther fans talk about how they miss Ron Rivera. So let's give him a chance, folks. I know that D.C. is hungry for a winning season. I mean, not just a winning season. They're just hungry to have a winning franchise again. I understand that. I've been a fan since 1981. You know, I know how it feels to have a team that's a perennial winner season in, season out. 
and then to see this franchise go off the deep end like they've had for the past 25 years. I understand it, uh, but there's something that keeps me, keeps pulling me in, just like it keeps pulling you in, and we just got to keep at it. Let's just be patient. Let's see what the new name's going to be. And all that said, I've got to get to work because I am super late. So, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Washington Football Maniacs. Um, I also have a, uh, a series coming out. Uh, we'll probably start debuting after the season's over, but it's going to be the Legend Series, and it's basically going to be about um, I'm going to pick a, a coach or a player and I'm going to do a documentary. It's going to be more formal than these videos, but um, I'm going to do a documentary on those. It's basically going to be about, you know, the player and then, you know, what I thought about the player and my experiences of watching, you know, the, these coaches and these players uh, on Sunday. Just to kind of give you a perspective, of, a fan perspective of how these guys were and how they, you know, brought us fans in to, to be in better or bigger Washington football fans. All right, that being said, be on the lookout for that. So go ahead and subscribe and be ready because that's probably going to start coming out after the season's over. That being said, take care, folks. Have a great day. And even though it hurts to say it, I'm still going to say it, hell to the Washington football team.